Hi, Rupert. Uh, I'm Dominic. Hello, Dominic. My first retreat with you. I, I wonder if you would indulge me to go back for a moment to your creation myth. Um, I have been thinking a lot about life and death this week. Um, uh, one of my, my closest friends for the last 50 years uh, passed away on Monday. Excuse me. Um, and so I, I'm thinking about the idea of, of dreaming and and the the separate self that that we are that dreams and creates as it were another separate self and another separate world and i once had the experience of what's what's called lucid dreaming which is to be within the dream but to recognize that you're dreaming and um, so when I realized that was happening, it also dawned on me that, well, if, if I'm a dream person in a dream, the laws of physics should not apply. And therefore, I should be able to walk through walls and fly, which I did. So that was very cool. <laughs> but if then on waking, this localized consciousness that is this body-mind is just one step removed, meaning that is also a dream in the mind of infinite consciousness. Am I confused in my thinking by saying that, well, the equivalent to lucid dreaming in a dream in our waking state is what we call enlightenment. No, lucid waking. L lucid waking. That's what we're aiming at here, lucid the, waking. And I, the, okay, that was my question, is yeah. that it seems like that's what, we, what we're after here. W w what's really meant by enlightenment is the recognition of the nature of our being. the recognition of the nature of ourself, like so many words in the spiritual tradition. The word enlightenment is it's a, it's a mistranslation and it's misleading. It, it leads, gives rise to the expectation that something is going to happen in the future, that something is going to be enlightened. No, awareness cannot be enlightened. It is the, the, sun, the sun isn't turned on every morning. It's always shining brilliantly that there is just the bright light of awareness which is uh, temporarily endarkened by experience. Or when that endarkening thins out, the bright light of being shines. It doesn't become enlightened. It is always shining brightly. Being is always shining brightly in us, as us, in the midst of all experience. But it is in most cases endarkened and therefore obscured by the content of experience. Enlightenment is simply the removal of that in darkening and the revelation of the bright light of being. And, and so is it, is it reasonable then to imagine that when this body-mind dies, that is a form of awakening into our true nature? Because we because the, the separate self dissolves. Possibly, but we can't be sure that the separate self completely dissolves. As, as uh, consciousness localizes itself in the form of a separate subject of experience, that's each of us, and that localization of consciousness appears from a second person perspective as a body. So what appears to be the death of the physical body from a second person point of view is the unraveling of this localization of consciousness, the unwinding, the, the, the relaxation of this contraction of consciousness. So what appears to be the death of the body from an internal, from a first person perspective is the decontraction, the expansion, the relaxation of this localization. But there's nothing to suggest 
that that expansion of, of this localization takes place completely. There's nothing to suggest that it dissolves completely. It could simply expand, decontract, but not go all the way back. And it's even possible that, 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 that it could expand and, and coalesce again downstream and form another localization. So we can't be sure that death is synonymous with the recognition of the nature of our being. It may be, in uh, particular for one who has um, spent their life, and not even their whole life, but just a portion of their latter years, deeply exploring these matters, it could be that in that case, this final recognition does take place at death. That's very possible. But it, I think it's going too far to say that it's necessarily the case. Yeah, that's very helpful. Thank you.